Everybody doing? Good. Pretty good. Pretty awesome. Good. Awesome. Okay, tell us what was it like, man, in your first NFL game? You know, how comfortable were you out there today? Yeah, I felt good. Um, there's always, you know, um, there's always a, a little bit, you know, of, of a more focus that you have um, going to games um, for whatever reason. Um, even if you try and enter um, and enter that that mindset and things like that uh, throughout the weeks, um, it's just a you know, a sense of control, I guess, a sense of um, progress, a sense of, you know, a bunch of a bunch of different things that when you get into games, you know, you, the, the, the comfort level and all of that you know, normally skyrockets. On the dump off to Swift, did it, did you see him? Because it looked like I a, did see him. It looked I saw, like a no-look I saw, I, no, it wasn't a no-look. Uh, I wish I could claim that it was, but it wasn't. Um, I saw him for a quick second, and then um, I really saw his gloves because he had, I believe, bright orange gloves on or something like that. Um, and so I, I saw it open, I, and I could feel the, the defenders kind of, um, you know, breaking through the line, which they showed on the screen. Um, so offensive line did a great job, uh, you know, making it making it seem believable as if they were going to let up a sack and then toss it over the head, and we got, I think it was around 40 yards or so. So it was great. Yeah, we got a couple of that we talked about the confidence that you had in the right uh, is that something that's just natural? Is that something that you were, you're very intentional about trying to show in a huddle? I mean, it's your first game ever at this level. Not a lot of guys would walk in with that kind of confidence. Yeah, I wouldn't say that I was trying to show, and I wouldn't say that um, it's natural. Um, I would say that it's come from the hard work here um, and, and us being here working together, building this thing uh, together as we go, and then also, you know, the years of work. Um, of, of of getting here and now being a Chicago Bear, um, so it's you know I I think it also I think it just comes from a lot of hard work over time, um, and and uh, been around these guys that they make it a lot easier for me. So on the, the play action rollout, you hit the cold. It felt like the, the play design you did most of the work for you. What did you see on that whole sequence and the, and the ability to hit that throw down the field? Yeah, um, so we we've, we've been repping this play uh, for a while now, and just you know getting those reps in um, has has been key. And then you know you come out on game day and. Yeah, the, the the seas part, um, and Cole's running down the sideline, and uh, my job is just to give him the ball um, in space and um, let our let our players like Cole um, and 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 them just just do their magic. Um, and but yeah, no, got out, got past the the DN, uh, ran past him, pump faked, and then tossed it to Cole, um, and he was wide open, did a great job selling it, and then uh, and then breaking to the corner. How reassuring is this, just just as a start, just to be, as a beginning? Yeah, I, there is an understanding that it is preseason, that, you know, everybody's not going to show their looks and, you know, what they would do versus and vice versa. Um, but um, it, it definitely is, you know, it definitely feels good um, to get out there. Last time I was out there on the field other than practice was November 18th. And it's, you know, you go that long without something, um, it's 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 tough. Uh, but, you know, it's been great. The guys have made it fun. Um, they made it easy on me. Um, Talking about our talking about our other players, um, they've been they've been great um, from the beginning to now, um, and and you know my my progress is I would I would count my progress and support I would count it to them. Uh, they've been great, like I said, and so uh, to get out there and and and, and have the confidence um, you know that we had out there, um, it's it's only going to get better, and we can't wait. When you buy time in the pocket, it seems like you do so so you can throw the ball down the field. But on that one scramble up the middle, like what did you see on that? Why did you decide to take off? And was the slide a natural one? I know you've been working yeah, on it. We've been practicing the slide uh, with the slippy slide. Um, but um, so I had a plan in my mind um, of what they were going to do defensive-wise. Um, and then they, they dropped out of it. They went to man. Um, you know, the, at first I thought uh, – I think Demar uh, was on the left side. I thought he was going to rotate, and the right safety was going to rotate down. Not he, he 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 bluffed it, got over top of the uh, of the vertical, I believe, to Rome. And then after that, um, I got down to my back. My back was covered, and I saw the seas part. Realized it was two man, and took off. Would you take a minute to find the play clock? It's really out of sight. No, line. so we it's always a thing once you get in. Well, for most quarterbacks and things like that, um, once you get into the stadium, go find the play clocks. Um, so you're never looking for the play clock, but they do a good job of hiding that one play clock. It's in white with the white, the white little building up there. The, the, the la your, your last play, did you did you think you had Rome as you kind of let that ball out? It felt like you, you thought you, when you're in the back of the end zone. Yeah. So so Rome and I talked about it. Excuse me. Uh, Rome and I talked about it, um, and and that comes from time. 
um, of, of getting on the same, you know, same same page and same connection. Um, we talked about it, and I, I actually thought he was going to take it high because um, I thought he saw the guy, which he did. He, he told me he saw the guy that was below him, the two def- one defender and, and one of our teammates um, down the right sideline. I thought he was going to either settle or go to the back pylon. Um, he started coming out flat. Um, by then, I had to let the ball go, and I tried to give him a chance and put it back pylon, see if he could run under it. The, the, the human nature urges to kind of take that breath and say, yeah, obviously, that felt good to get back out there. And then Matt says, you have to scale back and say, also, there's a lot of work to do. How do you kind of juggle those two things of, like, taking some enthusiasm out of this loss, understanding that the, the climb is still pretty steep? Yeah, I mean, you also, I mean, you have to understand where we are um, and understand, you know, what we have and, and where we're headed. Um, that's the most important thing. Uh, but you also have to be where your feet are. So when you're out there in the field, when we're preparing for this game, you're enjoying it, you're having fun, you're having a blast. You know, we take a step back we, when we get in tomorrow or early tomorrow. Um, you know, we take a step back, we go through the tape, and then on to the next, on to the next preseason. And then, you know, from there, you, you, you take it from there, and then uh, you keep growing, you keep growing, you keep growing. Um, and then we just, you know, keep, keep counting those days, counting those hours, um, and, and getting after it. Did you have a chance to you're giving Bears fans permission to be excited right now? I mean, Bears won, you know. <laughs> Why not? Did you talk to Josh Allen at all? Just any of the pregame interactions? Uh, just a quick hello, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Um, said I like this game. Say you like my game. Be safe. Those kind of things. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.